Thank you for being here. Thanks for coming to Dreamcatchers. Well, I'd like to ask you, you know, you've been in, in, in the business world for, for a few years, and if a, if a person is starting out and they're trying to build a business that bridges both Hong Kong and China, what are some of the characteristics they should have or, or things that they should focus on to make that process easier? Mm. So um, no matter the background, even the Chinese or the foreigner, you, start a, you, you, you want to start a business uh, crossover Hong Kong and China, I think the first of all is you have to know the Chinese culture, mm. somewhat the face issue and about the, about the table and the behind the table, and then you may know about how the rules of games. This is very different from the Western culture. Mm. So I'm not telling the illegal things, even the legal things, they, they might not bring the problem with the at the, at the table. Mm -hmm. They may ask you to guess about the, the, the issue the or the issue, problem yeah. or the interest about it and they want you to guess and then to see. So I think the, the EQ is very important and how your social mm -hmm. communication and you get to know them. And then I still recall uh, when I do my first X shares IPO back to 1994, mm -hmm. it's almost 21 years ago. And then I talked to the chief accountant of the SOE, uh, the state owned enterprise company, they go for Hong Kong IPO. The chief accountant is much elder than me, taught me that uh, in China, it says uh, you have to care, the pe you have to handle the people first rather, mm. than, the, rather than things. Uh, and then the, in the Western world, it's the other way around. And I, we will do the job, we've done a great job. I respect you, respect me, so we become friends. Mm. And I will ask you to go to my home for, for BBQ or somewhat in the, oh, in the wow. weekend. But in China, you have to make friends first. Yeah. Otherwise, no business. Right. And all those businesses is just one, one deal, deal just deals only. And people, no. say, people say this takes a long time to yep. actually do this. Yep. So what, what's a reasonable expectation if you're actually going to try uh, to build this business? It used to be. So that's why the, the wine culture, the mm. white wine culture, so I call it the, mm. the, the white wine culture is that to, make, to, to make the time shorter. <laughs> because if you don't drink, and then you may take more, uh, more times to meet together, yeah. uh, more dinner, more personal touching. Mm. But if you drink wine at the dinner, so we almost, both parties almost get drunk. Yeah. So we have uh, all uh, um, an armed defense mechanism. Yeah. So we think that after, after, after the bonding has happened. It's bonding so happened, yeah. brotherhood. Right. So that's why we'll make the business more, more okay. happy. So that's why. And also that chief accountant taught, taught me 20 first, 20, 21 years ago is that uh, in China, I talked to Pu Donghua is that uh, uh, your drinking habit is your working habit. Mm, I see. So if, no. you, if, you, uh, if I told you and then you just half, half the cup or somewhere, then you, the, you, are, you are not the easy going people. Yeah. You are not friendly enough. That's why they, they will use this wine culture, mm. no matter from the government officer. Mm. to those SOE or private owned enterprise mm. entrepreneurs. This is the culture of China. Mm. Uh, unlike European, unlike US. US is most beer. More, more beer uh, than you will make friends. Something like that, but you have to do things. I don't know if it's beer all You have to things up to more uh, level of standard. Well, then actually, they will be sustainable for the relationship. Actually, this is something that I wonder if, if will ever be influenced in the way China does business. Because if, if we're talking about San Francisco or the tech community, yep, the then no area. one's really thinking about beer. Yep. They're thinking about how many apps can I get downloaded into the phone yep. or how many phones can I get. It, it, is that kind of culture going to grow in China as well when we're trying to, you know, many people are going to try to get into those phones. Different way. And right now, let's say, uh, mm. I'm based in the uh, western region of China, so there's more inland part in China. You, you go to Chengdu, the, they have do very well in the internet mm. plus. So those 90s generation, they are, they are not drinking much. Mm. They are even not drink. So yeah. it's more like, uh, more like, we do. We are contact in those apps language. Mm -hmm. That's so great. I'm a, I'm an alien. Come come there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but I think I, I just tell about the traditional. If you mm -hmm. are you are doing the commercial products or commercial business, you have to deal with the people as a whole, mm -hmm. the massive the massive people. But you just internet plus. You are facing those teenagers or just the young people, the youth. Mm -hmm. You. Is they are more westernized right now. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Well, thank you for the cultural yeah, thanks, lessons. Thanks a lot. And yeah. good luck with your own work. You too.